Today I'm at the Royal Children's Hospital here in Melbourne, Australia, one of the world's leading paediatric hospitals. If you live here in Melbourne, you know how important the Royal Children's Hospital is to all of us. There are thousands of patients that come through these doors every year and there are thousands of staff on site here supporting those patients. So as you can imagine, their task is pretty challenging. Well, today we're gonna to look at a piece of technology that is just helping in a small way to improve some efficiencies here at the Royal Children's Hospital. I'm here in the main street of the Royal Children's Hospital and joining me is Adrian Hutchinson. Adrian, thanks for joining me. Hi Andrew, how are you? Good, thanks. Well, tell us Adrian, what's your role here at the Royal Children's Hospital? Uh, so I'm the Manager of Clinical Technology and also the Chief Nursing Information Officer. Adrian, you must be very busy here at the Royal Children's Hospital with a lot of technology in a lot of different departments. Barcode technology really plays a major role in the hospital here and, and one area that I really want to look at is blood scanning. How are you using barcodes in that blood scanning process? So blood scanning uh, is really important. Um, we, as you may or may not know, we've got a, an electronic medical record at the hospital and we use the electronic medical record to match the right blood to the right patient. So when we um, identify the right patient, we then have to identify the right blood scan product that we're giving to that patient. Um, that is recorded generally with or ordered within the, uh, the electronic medical record. So we currently um, scan the patient, so with using a barcode scanner, and then we also scan the blood product that we, has been ordered for that patient, and then um, we match that to the patient, and when we know that that matches correctly, then we can administer it to the patient. Every day you're taking blood samples, so there's must be plenty of blood packs that you need to process. How many roughly in a day would you need to process? So uh, we administer a significant number of blood products, um, both in the operating theatre, uh, in outpatients, in um, intensive care, the neonatal unit, across the course of the day. How many barcodes will we see on a typical blood pack? Oh, there's, you know, there's up to 10 different barcodes of which we need to scan five or six of those barcodes in order to safely administer the blood product to the patient. With so many barcodes on the blood pack, yeah. uh, obviously you would like to streamline that scanning, which you've happened to do with the Zebra solution. Yes. Yeah. What has it enabled you to do? So prior to having the Zebra solution, we used to have to scan individual barcodes in a particular sequence on the blood pack. So the first step is we identify the patient and then we have to identify the various barcodes on the blood pack in order to allow the electronic medical record to um, match the correct blood to that patient. Now, if we got that out of sequence, and sometimes that can happen, um, you know, in a, in a rust situation, then you can muck up the sequence of it. So it, it added a little bit of time to the process. By utilising the multi-scan where it passes over the blood product and identifies the sequence and the right barcode to scan at a particular point in time, we can just now have one pass of the barcode scanner over that blood pack and it inputs the right sequence of barcodes into the blood into the electronic medical record and then we're able to um, authenticate that blood to that patient so it's sped up the process of us authenticating the blood, the right blood to the right patient. Sounds like it, it's a perfect solution and I suppose improve your speed of scanning but accuracy as well and efficiency. Yes. How are the staff taken to the solution? Oh certainly, um, certainly across the hospital it's a much more robust system and it's a much quicker system for people to do. As I said earlier the, um, the scanning of blood is mandatory uh, in most situations and all it's allowed us to do is to be able to scan the blood in a much more efficient way. Um, accuracy was never an issue, it's really about the efficiency of how quickly we can actually administer it and it's much easier to scan one pack of blood rather than five indi individual barcode scans to be able to identify the correct blood. 
Adrian, how easy was it to implement the multi-scan solution? Uh, re really easy. From a technical point of view, it was really good. We had uh, a lot of assistance from the Zebra technical people to set that up initially and make sure that we were scanning the barcodes in the correct sequence. Probably the biggest change for us was in the change management of people doing it the old way and transitioning them to do it a much simpler way. So the, tr the change management of the barcode scanning with a multi-scanner was um, probably took a little bit longer than we first thought because we've got a big hospital, we've got lots of people that need to administer blood and making sure that they're aware of the technology and the simplicity of the technology I think it took a little bit longer than we first thought. The barcode scanner in use here at the Royal Children's Hospital to scan those blood packs is the Zebra DS8100 scanner, the healthcare version. Now the healthcare version means that its outer housing has been designed to reduce bacteria buildup and it's also disinfectant safe, which is very important here in a healthcare environment. There are a lot of other features, such as the Imager scanner. It can scan 1D and 2D barcodes. It can even be used as an operational light. There's other features such as the good read indicators so that the, the workers can really get feedback as to whether they did scan those barcodes correctly, which can really speed up the flow of work. And of course, you can use the barcode DNA solution such as 123scan to configure this barcode for different applications here in the healthcare environment. The DS8100 comes in a wired or wireless configuration. Here, they've chosen the wireless solution for that ease of mobility. They can move around scanning all those blood packs. When you invest in a Zebra scanner, it can do more than just simply scan a single barcode as we've seen here at the Royal Children's Hospital with the multi-scan solution on their blood packs. Well, that's all thanks to the Zebra barcode DNA suite of solutions. The solutions allow you to do multiple different things to get more value out of your barcode scanner. You can configure scanners remotely, you can set them up for multi-scanning. A lot of different features that can now streamline workflows even more. A big thank you to the team here at the Royal Children's Hospital for allowing us to come and witness some of the Zebra technology in use behind the scenes. The Royal Children's Hospital is really an iconic hospital. We hope that you don't need to visit it, but if you do, you know that you're going to be in really good hands and there's a lot of technology behind the scenes helping to improve the patient experience. Now, if you want to find out more about Zebra barcode scanners for healthcare environments or the barcode DNA suite of solutions, just jump online and visit zebra.com.